More than 6,000 delegates from across the globe are gathered at the mining in Dabo, which started yesterday in Cape Town. More people are set to attend the week-long event than previously as investors are seeking to benefit from strengthening commodity prices. The Chamber of Mines says it wants government to put the health and safety of mine workers as their priority at the Indaba. The theme for this year's mining in Daba is leveraging the next wave of growth and how investors can invest for long-term growth in the sector. We take this discussion further with the Minister of Mineral Resources, um, Seben Zizwan, who is in our studios in Parliament. Minister, it's a very good morning to you and thank you so much for coming through. <coughs> Good morning, Palis, and your listeners. Good morning. Minister, more people are attending the Indaba, and you are, as the minister, uh, to look at the issues of beneficiation, the issue of uh, investment, the regulations affecting the sector. Just talk to us about these issues briefly. Well, let me say we, we, we are having a very successful Indaba this year compared to last year. The issues we put on the table for discussion was the issue of transformation uh, that will be uh, covered by the mining charter. We have also talked about the issue of policy certainty, talking about the bill that is currently circulating in provinces, the MP MPRDA. We also, of course, have talked about the um, use of Section 54 to ensure that uh, our workers return home safely and they work in a, and around a safe environment. You will remember the, the Lily Mine case and we're saying uh, more death to the families in South Africa is not what we want. Yeah. We also have talked ab about the invest, investor environment being conducive and we've talked to the investors that uh, South Africa is ready for more investment in mining. Mm. Let us just go a little bit to the issue of the, uh, the mining charter, the revised mining charter. Right? It, it's always been a concern. It still is a concern. Uh, we've also had Chamber of Mines raising their concern on the health and safety of, of, the, of the, the, the employees. Uh, how far is the department in this regard, Minister? Well, we have uh, indicated yesterday that, that our wish is to uh, gather the final a reviewed mining charter uh, mid-March. We are engaging with stakeholders, including the Chamber of Mines, who have opened our doors to say, let us uh, uh, come up with a document that will assist the people of South Africa, that will ensure that transformation uh, takes place. As we talk about the radical economic transformation, this is the time that we must show in this mining charter that uh, we are not only talking, but we are also prepared to implement what we have been talking about. And uh, I believe that uh, once this product is finalized, the people of South Africa will, wel will welcome it. Yeah. Now, you also made mention of the Lily Gold mine tragedy that happened about a year ago. We do know that uh, on Sunday, it actually marked one year since uh, the accident happened. You were quoted over the weekend as saying that uh, retrieving the bodies is a priority. But the question is, how... What do you mean by it being a priority? A year later, uh, nothing has been done in terms of retrieving those bodies. Well, Palisa, the, the truth of the matter is that work has been going on uh, in, at Lily Mine, um, where we even had to consult with experts as to the safety of going under the ground and, and, and retrieving those bodies. And you'll remember at one stage, I... Um, briefed the nation that the experts indicated that it won't be safe for now to go uh, uh, under the ground and retrieve those bodies. What we are saying as government is that we need to bring this matter to closure. Remember, we had investigations that took place there which have now, now been turned into full inquiry and we are finalizing that, that inquiry and we had said the law must take its course and uh, we we talking and finalizing with uh, the company that uh, is responsible to to look at the ways best ways of closing this matter we we believe that we have given everybody a chance and we now have to close this matter what happens closer in what way what happens next now uh, minister because our priority the families Our as well. If, if I can, still, yeah, yeah, if I can just come in, the apologies on that one. Uh, the families would also want to, to, to find closure or bring closure to this issue. So what happens next? 
Well, our priority is still to, to, to find the, the bodies that are trapped underground and, and, and bring closure to that one. We also want to have a, a situation where we, we conclude the issue of the future of this uh, mine itself, uh, because you'll, you'll remember that uh, many a times when the mine was supposed to move forward, the issue of money, uh, uh, funds, and people who are funding it has been an issue. People coming in and uh, withdrawing at the last minute, as you know that uh, uh, this mine is with the um, rescue, as we talk, a business rescue. Um, currently, so we want to close those issues and ensure that we reach finality and we move forward. All right. Uh, activist minister and uh, mining affected communities, they are staging their own alternative mining in Daba, in the city as well. And this has been going on for the past eight years. Simply saying that this Africa mining in Daba is a, a gathering of the rich and unaffected. This shows that some stakeholders within the mining sector are not happy. We, we are well aware of that, uh, Palisa, and we have done a lot of, of work to um, give an opportunity to junior miners. We, we had a symposium yesterday of junior miners. We have been given a number of challenges, and we're talking to the organizers of the current Indaba uh, about those challenges uh, and resolve them. All right, Minister, let's leave it at that, but thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you, Palisa, and your listeners. Thank you so much indeed. There you have it, the Minister of Mineral Resources, Mr. Benzizwani, talking to us about a whole range of issues, including the mining in Daba that is currently underway uh, in Cape Town. We will be looking at this issue as it is a long, or rather a week-long event taking place here.